Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you how to play one of the most funnest and best characters in all of My Hero Ultra Rumble, TWICE. Since releasing, TWICE has only gotten better and better, with numerous buffs arguably making him a little too good in some areas. He has range, he has mobility, kind of, but most importantly, he has the potential to create a small army of clones and dominate any player. Adding all these together, you get one of the most interesting characters in all of My Hero Ultra Rumble history. And today, I'm going to be giving you an in-depth guide on TWICE. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out and lets you know when I upload new videos. So please don't forget to subscribe and let's get into this. First, we will look at his strengths and weaknesses then his tools, and finally, we will talk about the many playstyles you can utilize with TWICE. Starting with his strengths, his biggest one being his damage output. Close range or long range, TWICE has the potential to just melt enemies' shields and health bars with ease. His next strength is his mobility. While it's not as good as other rapids in the game, TWICE's mobility is just good enough to get you where you need to be, whether that be on top of a building or closer to a teammate who's being attacked. And his final strength is his clones. Like we said earlier, Twice can melt enemies' health, and with one of his clones, that's double. Now, also imagine that we clone some other players. At this point, we have a small army, and this just makes Twice a very scary character to deal with, since you will get overwhelmed almost instantly. But sadly, like all characters, Twice does have some weaknesses. Admittedly, he has a lot less than he used to, but there is still some pretty big ones. Starting with Endeavor, this character counters Twice so hard, because anything you can do as Twice, Endeavor just immediately stops you. Trying to escape, he beams you down with his alpha. You try to push towards Endeavor, he beams you down and you take too much damage to realistically win the fight. You try to make a clone to help you fight Endeavor, he just beams down the clone the second it appears. The only way you are winning a fight as twice against Endeavor is if you are in close range of him. But as all good Endeavors know, close range is where he's at his worst, so they will always try and stay mid to long range, making it pretty much impossible to win. Besides this, Twice really doesn't have any weaknesses because, besides this very specific character, Twice is good at everything else. Now let's move on to his tools, starting with his regular attacks. Twice does a 3 hit combo with the third hit causing a knockdown. In total, all 3 hits do 105 damage. These regular attacks are very good, and if we run out of charges on our skills, are a very good tool to have. Plus, because the first hit of his attack combo is a sliding kick, we don't actually need to be right next to the enemy for the attack to land. Next, we have his alpha, Dagger Shot. This is where most of the damage non-clone will be coming from, because of how good it is. With this, Twice throws three knives in whatever direction you're aiming. Generally, as long as you land the first knife, all three of them will hit. At level 1, the knives do 23 damage per hit for a total of 69 damage. At level 4, the knives do 26 damage each for a total of 78 damage per shot, plus you get an extra charge on the alpha giving you 6 total shots. And at level 9, the knives do 31 damage each, adding up to 93 damage per shot, plus you get another charge, so you'll have 7 charges on the alpha in total. But not only does Twice's alpha do amazing damage, it also has extremely good range. As you can see, this is how far away you can be and still hit enemies with the alpha. So even if you're not super close to your team, if they get attacked, you can still support them from a distance. Next, we have Twice's Beta, Self-Duplicate. This skill is god tier at getting you extra damage and helping you out in a fight. You can activate it close to an enemy to get the damage from the skill itself, or you can just use the skill whenever, wherever, to bring out the clone. At level 1, it does 62 damage and brings out the clone that can also do damage. This clone stays out for 7 seconds. At level 4, it does 91 damage and your clone will last even longer before he disappears, with an extra second, totaling 8 seconds. Plus, 
all your clones levels become level 4. And at level 9, it does 114 damage, and the clone stays out even longer for a total of 15 seconds, and all its skills will be level 9. Now let's talk about the clone, because there is a lot to discuss, starting with the only real downside with the clones, and that's that no matter what level your clone is, if he takes one hit from anything, he will disappear. They are very fragile. The best way to use twice his clones is either bring him out when you see other players fighting. That way, they will be too distracted to attack the clone straight away. Or, if you're in close range, activate the clone when you're by them. This way, they will get knocked into the air from the beta and can't immediately destroy the clone after its activation. Now, let's talk about all the free damage you will get. With Twice's beta, even if the attack doesn't hit an enemy, the clone will come out. So, what you can do with Twice is, if you see enemies, use your beta in their direction and the clone will go and fight them and you get free damage, since any damage the clone does is added to your total damage, which is awesome. It's best to do this when your enemies are fighting each other, since they will be too distracted fighting each other to notice your clone, and the clone can get some big damage, and even down enemies a lot of the time. Something else Twice's clones are very good at is finding enemies that are hiding, since the clone will auto-lock onto any close-by enemies. If they are hiding in a bush or a building, the clone will attack in their direction, so then you and your team can rush them. And the last thing I'd like to tell you about Twice's beta is a way to hit it at close range pretty much 100% of the time. So what you're going to want to do is, when close to an enemy, use your gamma skill. This will auto lock onto them and do damage. As soon as you see the damage number show up, use the beta. By doing this, you will always be close enough for it to hit, and because they get knocked into the air, they can't destroy the clone. Next we have Twice's Gamma, Foot Boost. This skill just keeps getting better and better. Not only can it be used for movement, it can also be used for damage, and in some cases, stopping your opponent from using skills. At level 1, it does 2 hits of 24, giving us 48 damage. At level 4, it does 2 hits of 27, giving us 54 damage, and you will get an extra charge. And at level 9, it does 2 hits of 32, giving us 64 damage, and you get another charge, for a total of 4 uses. But damage is just one of the many uses for his gamma. Another use, and this is something you should 100% be doing if you want to get good with Twice, is using the gamma for movement. Unlike other characters, Twice doesn't actually need to attach himself to anything to use his quirks for movement. So, you can aim in any direction and the Gamma will take you. Something that's also nice about Twice's Gamma is that you keep your momentum after using it, like Mount Lady and her kick. And, if you do like to fight close range, Twice's Gamma also has you covered. If you are close enough to an enemy and use the Gamma in their direction, it will auto-lock onto them. This is good because from here, you can do this combo. Use the Gamma, then when both of the hits have happened, press your attack button. Because you are technically in the air, Twice will do his air attack, and this will always hit from the Gamma. But the best use I have found for Twice's Gamma is something that makes him the S tier we all know him as. And that's the fact that you can interrupt other characters skills with his gamma. Let me show you. In most cases, once a character has started using their skill, you can't stop them. But with Twice, his gamma can. Like this, Toga is charging right towards us with her beta. You've probably all been hit by this same skill loads of times. All I need to do is use Twice's gamma and it interrupts and stops Toga's attack. This doesn't work with every attack in the game, but it works on a majority of the roster's skills. So next time you see an enemy charging towards you, remember you can stop them very easily in most cases. And finally, the last skill we have is Twice's special ability. This special is amazing. So basically, if you use this on a downed enemy, you make a perfect clone of them. All the skill levels they had, your perfect clone will have. And unlike Twice's beta clones, these clones don't disappear after one hit. They will have the same health as whatever the character you cloned has. The only way to make these clones disappear is to either A, fight the clone like you would a regular player and get their health to zero, or B, if a player you cloned is revived by their teammates, 
your clone will disappear. But the best part about this special ability is that it stacks. So, if you clone someone and let the skill recharge, you can clone another player so you'd have two clones. This is very OP, and if you do it right, by the time the storm gets really small, you could potentially have five to six clones with you, and you just destroy everybody. Some clones work better than others. I may make a tier list of clones in the future at some point, but I need to do more testing. But as of right now, characters that work amazing as clones are Toga, Red Darby, Denki, Aizawa, and All Might. Now that we've gotten over everything Twice can do, let's talk about the different playstyles you can utilize with him. Let's start with his best one, the Hyper Aggressor. With this playstyle, you will constantly be in close range of your enemies, attacking them mainly with your Alpha and Gamma. But also, the reason we stay so close to them is because by doing this, we can deny them use of any of their skills with Twice's Gamma effectively locking them out of using skills. Your leveling priority with this playstyle will be Gamma first, at level 4 and 9, we get extra charges, letting us keep our enemies from using their skills for even longer. Then, we level the Alpha, since this is our main damage dealer and more damage is always nice. And finally, we level the Beta. In all honesty, the Beta clone isn't something that we should prioritize. It's good, but the fact that it only takes one shot to defeat it makes leveling twice his other skills a bigger priority. And for the skill cards, you'll want to be carrying a technical card in one slot and a defense card in the other. The technical card is so that our skills cool down 50% faster. And the defense card will give us 20% more defense and let us take less damage. One more thing I'd like to say with this build as well is you need to have a good team since no matter what character you're playing, if you run into a 3v1, no matter how good your character is, the chances of you winning are very low. But if you have a good team that will support you and know what they are doing, you can rush any team that you want. And the next playstyle for twice is the sniper. This one is also the safest since you are rarely ever truly in danger with this one. For the sniper build, you'll be staying at mid to long range the entire time, throwing your knives at enemies while your teammates are close range keeping them distracted from rushing you. There will be times when a team or a player will see you and hard focus you. That's why, as soon as you see this happening, we use twice his gamma to move to a different location and hide. Also, whenever you get the chance, use your beta skill since, like I said earlier, it's free damage and no risk to you whatsoever. Plus the clone will add another layer of distraction, leaving you free to snipe enemies all you want. The skills you want to focus on leveling for this playstyle are your alpha first, then your beta, the higher the alpha the more damage you do and get more shots, and with the beta, the clone will stay out longer and do more damage. You can put levels into your gamma if you really want to, but there's no real point since the base two charges that you have on it are more than enough to move around the way we need to, and the other skills should always have more priority when leveling. And for the skill cards, you'll want to carry a technical card since this will reduce cooldown by 50% which will let us get our knives back faster, and the other card we want to carry is optional. I prefer to carry an attack card since more damage is better, but if you prefer to carry something like a healing or a defense card, go for it. The only card that isn't really worth carrying is a speed card since we have the gamma, so there's no real point in carrying one. With all of this info, I guarantee that you will be a better twice in My Hero Ultra Rumble. So please let me know down in the comments if this guide helped you. My name is Webavalo, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.